This is Cook and Cash, it's for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the MTK Manchester Show at the Victoria Warehouse. I'm joined by Hosea Burton. Routine win for you tonight uh, against a very experienced opponent. He's been in with a lot of good fighters, including Tony Bellew. So how did you sum up your performance today? Um, I got the win, that was the main thing. Um, only knew he was a southpaw a couple of days ago. Had no southpaw sparring. Um, it's been a long time since I've been in with southpaw, even in the sparring ring. So, um, to get the win, that's the main thing, just get out and get the win. I like the way you're kind of keeping yourself active while you're kind of probably in the back of your head kind of waiting for a big fight, which can't be too far around the corner, surely, Jose? Surely it can't be too far around the corner now. No, I'd like to thank MTK for keeping me active, keep getting me out on the shows, but um, the big fight should be... I'm knocking on the door now, you know. Um, I've, I've lost a handful of rounds in 20... 24 fights now, um, one of them being the all-important round against Franco Leone. Um, you know, I'm due, I'm due a big fight now, I'm due, I'm due what I'm deserved, you know. What, what's been the problem then, obviously, because you've only suffered the one defeat in your career, and is it a case of people possibly not wanting to fight you, or how do you look at it? Who would want to fight a six foot four boxer who can punch a bit? You know, I've had plenty of fights now. I've not been hit that many times. Um, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the danger man. I'm like the who needs me man. You know who, who, who really wants to fight yeah. me? I've got no belt at the minute. Um, I don't sell thousands of tickets. Um, so not many people wants to give me that opportunity. So it's a case of keep fighting until basically one of them opportunity presents itself. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Last time I spoke to you, obviously, <coughs> had that thing with Joshua Buatzi in the, in the ring, etc, etc, but it kind of went a little bit stale after that and nothing really was spoken about. Was there any further conversations regarding that? No, not that I know of, but um, th th there was something said, but for fights you've got to have money. And if the money's not right, the fights is not right. Yeah. Um, Joshua Buatzi will even tell you that. If, if the money's not right, you know, it's a business we're in. It's got to work for both of you. It's got to work for both of us. Yeah. Not just for the promoter, the manager, the trainer, blah, blah, blah. It's got, to, it's got to make sense. You know, so if the fight don't make sense money-wise, the fight don't make sense fighting-wise. Mm. So that's why that fight hasn't kicked off already. Well, I mean, listen, it's still a fight that could materialise next year possibly, but I mean, he was kind of by the sounds of it, open to it, and, and you are as well. If the terms are right, then yeah, I'm well, sure course, you both yeah, will get it listen, on. The terms got to be right for both of us. Joshua Boatsy is not stupid, I'm not stupid. We're not going to go in there and punch each other to death for nothing. Um, it's a fight I really do believe I, I'll, I'll win, and win comfortably. Um, it's just when the time's right. It seems like the fight uh, <coughs> that is at the front of your brain as someone you would pick to fight out of everyone would be Anthony Yard. You've yes. Obviously, made no secret about that. That's a fight that mm -hmm. you've been kind of talking about for quite some time. Whether it happens or not, just with yeah. for certain reasons, I don't know. But listen, I'm not just sold on Anthony Yard yet. He he can fight. Listen, he can punch. Obviously, he can punch because he's chinned nearly everyone. Has he chinned anybody as good as me? No. So I'd like to be the man to to to, to prove if he's good or not. You know, if he can beat me, he's a good man, which I don't think he can beat me. So, could be a big fight. It could be, it could be. But like I said, that division at the minute is kind of domestically and obviously on the world scene is, is another story as well. But domestically, there's still a lot of fights there that haven't happened yet that could possibly happen. Yeah, yeah. World stage, British stage, European stage. It's a big division at the moment. You know, so there's plenty of big fights to go at. There's not, you're not running around chasing one person. You know, no point chasing one person. I've done that for a long time. I chased that one person and I never got the fight. Now, I don't need that fight. He's got nothing that I want. So, it's just one of them things. And obviously your stable mate, Callum Johnson, gave such a, a credible account of himself um, in Chicago a few weeks ago. Um, kind of proving that he can kind of mix it at that level as well. Yeah, listen, he, 
I always knew it, he always knew it. Listen, we can mix it with the best. Callum's just showed you there. He's just, he dropped somebody who he shouldn't have, by rights they say he should have been in the ring with. But he got dropped himself, okay. The first time he got dropped, he should have had a right telling off that better be ever. He should have been told right off for that, you know? His own show, his own this, that, and the other. He never got, he never got an eye blinked at it. He should, if Callum done that to him, good chance Callum got disqualified. But, you know, when it's your own, your own town, you can do what you like. Okay, so is this your last one of the year? Are you trying to get out before the end of the year? Listen, if I can get out three more times before the end of the year, it'd be lovely. Um, I'm a fighting man. I'm, I train to fight. You know, I don't train just to look good or to say I'm a boxer. You know, I train to fight. So if I can get out two or three more times, perfect. Okay. Um, just a word on tomorrow night's fight here in Manchester between Tony Bellew and Alexander Jusek. Um has Bellew got a chance for you in that fight? I would love Bellew to win. I just see you second points. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's a well, tall, It's going to be a brilliant a fight. It's an absolute brilliant fight, but it's just one of them things. It, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a war. Um, have you got any closing words, Jose? Thank you, MTK, for putting me on the show so quick again. Thank you, John Webb, for active fitness, getting me in this good shape. Um, Thank you, everyone. No problem. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We'll catch up with you soon.